as technology evolves and we see its impact, we cannot have innovation limited to the few. We must have inclusive innovation. So Telcom Future Makers is really about investing and working alongside entrepreneurs in building their businesses. In light technology focuses on fiber and connect. I started out as a normal technician climbing the poles myself. Those years I was bright-eyed, bushy-tailed and just loved the outdoors, doing the installations. Many years later I found myself in management with Telcom. I decided to take the early retirement package at the same time when Telcom started with something which they call the Independent Field Technician Program and that's where I started in light technologies. At the time Telcom also had a backlog of ADSL or copper faults and so there was a good connection between providing income opportunities to these former employees while at the same time clearing out this fault backlog. We've had to support them in different ways, provide things like uh, business training, strategy, back office support, etc. But also we've had to think about how we support those businesses technically. So over the years, um, we've trained significantly into fiber skills. Part of our team is also now focused on the network splicing and floating of the fiber cables. When they leave there, they're leaving with a full internet service, a happy customer. This block is fully done. Beautiful. I started with my four technicians. From there, the company just grew with the help of Telcom and the IFT program. Small businesses are the backbone of any economy. SMEs that are part of that supply chain program have over the years created over 400 jobs. It's also very rewarding that I'm in a position to help people to put food on the table. Part of the innovation thrust for Telcom Future Makers has been the establishment of a venture capital fund. Over the years, the fund has been able to invest in the right type of startups, including startups like Dropper, that is essentially the Uber of trucks. Future Makers got involved with Drop at an early stage, I think it's three years ago, that's when they gave us our first disbursement. At that time, we were not even generating revenue to the millions that we're generating currently. We have evolved with them in such a way that we're even now servicing Telcom as a service provider. I've spent around two years just building this platform alone. But also, I mean, interacting with places like your innovation hubs. With our platform, you just go to our app and you just book a delivery and the turnaround time is cut from 48 to less than two hours. So they'll get back to us before lunch. The last year, this time, maybe I was doing 100 deliveries a month. Right now, we are doing thousands of deliveries a month. We will want for our services to be available at all corners of South Africa and maybe, who knows, the rest of Africa. <laughs> Telcom Future Makers is partnering with startups that are going to add value or diversify our supply chain. And then the other one is working with innovative startups, thinking about innovative and creative solutions, but just need a little bit of support to take those solutions to market. I currently reside in Pimple, which is a suburb in Soweto. I'm studying at the University of Johannesburg, Soweto campus. What I'm working on is a student accommodation app called Students Live that's going to help students find landlords and landlords find students. When we talk about township entrepreneurs, we would typically go into this puzzle shop where the informal businesses. So our parents have started businesses, but they were just to put food on the table. Now we are saying, can we build a business that can scale? There's so much potential and talent in the townships that we can find in nature. It's so important that we think about how we partner with entrepreneurs coming from the township and that is actually why we started the Township Innovation Incubator. One of the things that drawed us to Lisette is that she's a student herself. She's experienced the challenges that come with trying to find accommodation and she's decided to find solution to the problem. So I don't know how applications work and I'm not a technologically advanced person like that. So a partner of Telcom BCX is going to formulate and make the app for me. So within the system, are you looking for some sort of integration between Nespers and your solution? For a lot of us, our parents are entrepreneurs. We've been entrepreneurs ourselves. And so the team is very intrinsically passionate about working with entrepreneurs. I've been raised by a generation of strong women and that's what I want to embody. You can always be the first millionaire in your family. It doesn't have to have started from the top for it to happen now. Without dreams, what would we do? I think we'll just be despondent with all the challenges that we are facing. But people like Lisedi and all the entrepreneurs that we work with will show you that there is an opportunity to still dream, but also there are people who are willing to back those dreams. And Telcom has proven to be the partner that backs entrepreneurs' dreams.